so let's start at my door and move counterclockwise. There's my full-length mirror on my door and my wall calendar next to it. Next to my door is my storage cabinet with my planning station on top. I keep my planner and my dump pad here along with writing utensils, my phone, and sticky pads. My planners keep me sane, especially during my busiest weeks. I also have my essential oils in the corner of my planning station here, so they're handy. In my top drawer, there are snacks and my vitamin gummies and these colored papers that I use to add color to my video clips. The second holds my comic books and a few random objects that I keep meaning to sell online. I should really make time to do that. The bottom holds magazines, college notes, and my old drawing pads. For example, this was my sketchbook when I was still majoring in interior design. You know what? I keep meaning to show you guys some of my drawings. I actually designed the cover here. I'll show you a few of my drawings in this book. We always had to do an architectural detail as well as a drawing of our choice every week for this class. So this particular sketchbook holds mainly architecture and then a few other random pictures. And then there is my bookcase that doubles as a clock and radio stand on the top. I love reading, but I don't have the biggest bookshelf because I still go to the library a lot. That's pretty old-fashioned sounding, but what can I say, I like the experience of getting out. Past the bookshelf is my closet and little bench. This bench might be my favorite part of the room because it's cozy and simple yet colorful. It normally holds my stuffed Pikachu, Five Nights at Freddy's plushies, and the stuffed hamster named Ruthenium that was a gift from one of my closest friends in high school. On the wall above is my hair dex holder I made in my room decorating video and the portfolio I designed in high school. Let's see, I drew this when I was... uh... 17. I'm pretty sure that I drew that when I was 17. On the walls above my bed are my gold framed mirror, gold is one of my favorite colors, and two of my favorite writing pieces, Footsteps and Desiderata. On my bed I have my Foxy plush, and the round pillows are bought from my sister's online art stores. The anime pillow is a gift from my lifelong BFF. The red ribbon on my curtain rod is from an event my university hosted. This lamp is actually what I use for lighting in my videos. And this is my dresser created from a bookshelf, and the top also doubles as a nightstand. I refurbished this jewelry box from a discarded cigar box. Yeah, I have a lot of jewelry. Most of the pieces I got as gifts from Walmart or I made it myself. I'm pretty frugal. Aside from the clothing bins, I also store my magazines here. Psychology Today magazine serve as a great source of current scientific info that I use in my psychology hack videos. And I just enjoy reading the psychology research. On my windowsill, I have Princess Belle and Han Solo dancing together. They look so happy, don't they? And this container holds eye protection glasses for when I do yard work and extra birdies for playing badminton. Not that I have many birdies left, they end up everywhere whenever I play. This is a kitchen timer that I keep in my bedroom. That makes sense, doesn't it? I use it for timing myself on projects and staying on task. The rest of my windowsill I use for just a few knickknacks and displays I like. And in case you've been noticing all the shells, coral, and aquatic coloring, that's because I made my room ocean themed. I love the beach, but I've only visited the coast twice. This is my way of keeping the ocean close.
Below my air conditioner, I have these baskets for my scarves, wraps, hats, and other accessories. I'm pretty minimalistic, so I only keep the ones I use most often. My clothing style is very mix and match, so I like to hang on to just enough so I can be creative with my outfits. This white shelf is for miscellaneous items, though I tried to make it presentable as a display, too. It has some pictures of my friends, uh, my yearbooks, some jewelry, some office supplies, my rare coin collection, and my corsage from my senior prom. Since I like to utilize small spaces, I have this bag of hair accessories hanging from a shelf post, as well as some jewelry and car keys hanging on my other posts. And this is my tassel from my college graduation. Back to the shelves, as you can see, I love my washi tape. It's too pretty not to display it. I'm so bad with tech and knowing which wire is what, so storing wires in these decorated and labeled toilet paper tubes has been a lifesaver for me. Most of this stuff is just odds and ends. Some of it I refurbished myself. Here's my sunglasses and my prescriptionless glasses in the Star Wars cup that my aunt gave me. The bottom shelf just has containers of odds and ends with a few last wires and things for my video camera. It holds a few CDs as well as my external hard drive. And above my desk is my vision board. I gathered pictures and phrases that really speak to me to create it. You'll also notice that I have my channel mission statement on my vision board. And my desk is where the magic happens. I do a majority of my scripting and video editing here. I like having pictures of my family displayed and a picture of my graduating class in high school. Even though I'm very future-oriented, my past experiences have shaped me, so it's nice to have reminders of my roots. I prefer sitting on an exercise ball than a traditional desk chair. Next to my desk is my paper cabinet. I also tend to store small video props in there, and on top of the cabinet is my toothless money bank. On the wall next to my door are a few necklaces on display. The space just needed a pop of color, and I didn't want to get a decoration just for that, so I used what I already had. And this is my fur baby, Billy. Hi, sweet man! Show your face! His mom was a purebred Siamese. I'm not really sure what his dad was, but my money is on Maine Coon. He has so many Maine Coon traits. I have had Billy for half my life now. He's 12 in human years this year. He- Aww. Do you have an itch, man? Billy has what I call a lick button on his shoulders. Because if I scratch there, he licks right on cue. And if I stop scratching, he stops licking. Want to say goodbye? You want to say something, Billy? Oh. Oh.